ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale of Grand Theft Auto 5. And in this episode, we are going to be going over to Lester's house because this is the start of the final mission of the game. And the reason why we're going over to Lester's house because we chose the third way. Had we chose something sensible, we'd gone over to Devin Weston's house. Or a simple solution, we'd have gone over to the FBI, I mean the FIB. Either way, time to meet up with Lester and take out some loose ends. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that would fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing, but you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got, so why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man. You know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say... Kill Michael, then kill... Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless, okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and BAM! We turn it into a, a bust! I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. This is, without a doubt, the longest of the three missions. Because up, we're going man, after not only the FIB, right now, but we're That's also going good. after Merriweather, we're going after Mr. Chung, we're going after like uh, Stretch, yeah, we're going after me. Steve Haynes yeah, and Devin Weston. Meanwhile, if we would have chose a simple solution, all we had to do was chase down <clears throat> Trevor and set him on fire and kill him. Michael, on the other hand, if we chose something sensible, we'd have to chase down Michael, shoot him, and knock him off a cliff. That's it. It's not really that hard of, uh, those two are not really hard of missions. It's this one that's the hardest one. Because you have to make sure that Trevor, Michael, and Franklin all have body armor. And a lot of guns. They're going to need it. Especially since... Not only am I picking up Lamar to go over to the uh, FIB uh, ambush. But also, we're going to have to deal with going? the FIB we, Merriweather uh, ambush. And hey, look, hear me out, man. we're going to be funny, in for one hell of a no firefight. Problem. Granted, the FIB yeah, and Merriweather no will bro. take themselves oh boy, out. Well, it doesn't say, matter because when they see you, they'll the team up to thing? take you down. Yeah, and that is where all the guns and body well, armor will come home. in. And then we'll end up having to take out the other enemies, too. So on that note, all we need to do is just simply drive over to the mill and we are going to put down all of our loose ends but i can assure you people this is without a doubt one of the longest missions in the game because also the end credits comes in after you beat it 
And on top of the fact that you still have to fight over another bit of army just to get to Devin Weston. So in other words, you have to fight an army here. You probably have to fight over an army with the ballers, provided you don't have a rocket launcher. You have to deal with the triad, provided you don't have any means to deal with them. And also, there's a bit of Steve Haynes and getting away from the cops. So yeah. It is a long mission, let me assure you, and I gotta say, it is the most action-packed, at least one of the most action-packed finales out of the entirety of the game. I mean, out of the entirety of the series, sorry. No, but seriously, End of the Line was still my favorite. I, I'm not gonna say or lie to you. Well, that and keep your friends close. Although that one was really annoying. Still... You gotta admit, after going through one of the best heists in the game, I mean, it's sort of a bookend, then again, maybe not. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creepy. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Hmm. You're the building. Watch your sector. Chill, dog. You gotta wait. All right. As soon as the battle starts, make sure you get out a very accurate submachine gun. Anything that can shoot from long range and can actually do multiple hits, that works for me. While Michael and Trevor can actually pull off some uh, well needed kills, you can also switch over between the three if you find yourself in danger, but you'll have no choice but to switch over to Franklin later on. <clears throat> All we need to do is just keep uh, killing off. Oh god, get out of the corner, man. We just need to kill off as many Meriwether troops as humanly possible. If they start getting too close to your friends, if one of your friends die, well, guess what? That's going to be a mission failure. You know what you're dying for, bud. Accuracy is probably going to be a big issue here if you try to get 100%. <coughs> because sometimes the uh, radar can actually throw you off. And more importantly, Sometimes when you're trying to hunt down these guys that are uh, sneaking about, when you're aiming for them, you can't really aim for them. Not even with the fine aim, because they are right underneath you, and that'll force you to have to move. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to switch up to Franklin now because of the fact that Lamar is in danger. However, unfortunately for me, by the time I was about to get to Lamar, well, something bad terribly happens. Yeah. Lamar dies. Seriously. Fuck Lamar. But, uh, <clears throat> now we're going to go over to Lamar to actually save him. And we'll have to do whatever we can 
wouldn't be right to if I didn't have to save kill off as many soldiers to make sure Lamar is safe because he has a set amount of HP. And he's not going to be able to cover you like talking about it. By the way, you're going to have to hold off the Meriwether troops until you have to be forced to find Trevor. And, oh yeah, there are no drinks or med kits that are lying around in the area. <clears throat> so, we're going to have to clear a path to get to Trevor. Trevor's been pinned down and we need to help him. So hold on, let me get down, and I'm going to have to find Trevor. And hold on, hold on. Ah, got, got caught, got caught. Say something. All right. Trevor. We'll have to, oh God, I didn't even see that guy in the corner. What's the problem, T? <sighs> Sometimes the corner mechanics can be a pain in the ass. And, oh shit. Oh! I was close to getting to Trevor, but... Ugh, those guys sideswiped me. Oh, damn. Um, yeah. That guy was on fire. Oops. Alright, I killed that guy. Now it's time for me to see if Trevor's okay. Man, you had me worried. took a knock. I was sitting out a few rounds. Uh... Next time, I'll leave you to it. So, uh... Look out for agents. We're gonna have to fight our way out of the factory and deal with any of the uh, Meriwether attackers. Oh, and by the way, if a beauty takes comes on... If it, oh, shit! That was unexpected. As I was saying, if a beauty take goes off, run, because it was about to explode. And I'm surprised Trevor is still alive. Are we clear? And normally, if you accidentally blow up a butane tank, it'll probably kill him. Anyway, we're gonna have to go to the outside to meet up what with Franklin and Lamar to kill here? off the rest of Meriwether, who all just so happens to be trying to uh, swarm Franklin and Lamar. And they're coming in from multiple sides. Try to take out as much as you can as Michael. I'm closing him out! Even blow up a couple of enemies along the way. <clears throat> Take your time. If your health is low, try to find cover. Make sure that you are able to uh, regenerate your health before trying to rush in. If you need to, switch over to Trevor. Because Trevor will be in the vicinity. And make sure you kill these guys before they kill off the guy with the lowest health. No Hold on, give me a second. Helicopter. If I could just take him out. There's one. And then there's the bird itself. And more Meriwether trucks. Actually, the Meriwether goons will try to come up and uh, try to take you down. There should be one more on the side. He's shooting at me, but I can't reach him. He's up. Oh, wait a minute. Michael got him. Never mind. Okay. Time to regroup with everyone. And on that note. So, huh? oh. what's up? Huh? What's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? 
Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? This. Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh, Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. We now take out the enemies that have been plaguing us throughout the entirety of the game. Franklin's first target is Mr. Chang. All, right. we All we have to do is drive over there to kill him. Honestly, you might want to take a detour and buy some weapons. I should have done that. I honest to God should have done that. So I could get myself like uh, body armor, rocket launcher ammo, and also um, sticky bombs. So I could blow up Mr. Ching because I think one of the requirements is to blow up Mr. Ching with a sticky bomb. Unfortunately, I have remote detonators. No, wait, no, 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 I do have sticky bombs. Never mind. But it's not just Mr. Ching I'm supposed to blow up. It's also his caravan. I wanted to try to get through this by getting the rocket launcher. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Um, There would be a phone call from Lamar on the way over here. And... He would actually uh, get a conversation with Franklin, which is why I'm still holding this on because of the fact that that conversation came in. And I passed up the ammunition. I should have stopped there first. I really should have. Unfortunately, uh, I probably may have failed. I'm not sure. But if I would have gotten some ammo and some body armor and then was ready to go, I probably would have finished off Mr. Ching. Whatever the case, we are getting close to Mr. Ching's position. So after this conversation with Lamar, who, by the way, goes into hiding, we will pretty much go straight over to Mr. Ching. I'll just cut over there. However, uh, I have a method to beating this without the rocket launcher and only with sticky bombs. Because, quite frankly, you need the rocket launcher to destroy um, the convoy. But if you want to try to go for the 100%... Completion, you need to use the sticky bombs on all three of the cars that Mr. Ching's associates are driving. And... Gotcha, bitch. I think I got him. Hold on. Oh, I got him that time. And there goes Mr. Ching. And now we have to escape the Triads. Honestly, I was going to fall back and throw a bomb on them too. Ah, damn it, missed him. Oh well. 
I think we'll have to go to phase two, and that is to hide out from the triads and lure them out. Or at least that's what I would have done. Uh, hold on a sec. I'll get to the part where I kill them. I mean, it's not that hard, really. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I'm about to die. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Well, if I'm going down, I'll take you triad bastards with me. Till then, I'll see you guys when I get over uh, killing these bastards. Give me a sec. Well, the reason why I skipped that because I had to try to outrun the cops, thankfully I did. But then the triad came along and tried to follow me, so I had to kill them. Thankfully, I was able to lure them in the place where- <laughs> That was fucking awesome! That's the one thing I like about the Grand Theft Auto series. Random shit always happen all the time, no matter the game. That stunt flip was just fucking cool. Thank God I caught that on camera. Ugh. But nonetheless, the triads are dead. Although I could have blown them up with a uh, sticky bomb. It really... Actually, yeah, I would have been killed if I had done that. But at the same time, I at least made quick work of the triads once I got them in a corner. So... All that's left now is Stretch and Steve Haynes. So let's go over to deal with <clears throat> Stretch. Now, the requirement also has you to kill Stretch with a melee weapon. He's surrounded by ballas. So it'll be hard for you to actually kill him with a melee weapon like talking about him unless you run up to him and stab him with a knife. And then you have to fight off a bunch of ballers on the way there. So, yeah, that's the 100% requirement. Like, r killing him with a melee weapon. Me? Nah, I'm going conventional. Hey, gentlemen, you guys got a problem? I said, do we have a problem? Yeah. Problem solved. So, on that note... Let's blow up all the cars. I think there was only one anyway. The other one fled, so let's deal with the rest of the ballers. Leave no survivors, because these pussies have lived long enough. Kill him, and kill him. I'm clear. Your pal and on that note, he ain't a problem no more, Frank. I do believe the last person we need to deal with is Steve Haynes. So on that note, we switch to Trevor, and Trevor will be closing in on Steve Haynes' position. But once you get close to Steve Haynes, that's where things really start to turn up. However, you don't want Steve Haynes to literally see you, otherwise the mission will fail. And if you miss your shot too many times before he actually make a full round on the carousel, you will fail. So on that note, we're going to park right I'm here, and we're going to try to get as close as we can to Steve Haynes. So let's do this. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame drive? Right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Is Los Santo. A city of cell... All right, Steve Haynes is going to be in the carousel. The... 100% completion requirement, shoot Steve Haynes with a sniper rifle via a headshot. Alright, this may seem easy, but it's not. In fact, Steve Haynes 
is probably protected by most of the merry-go-round. So it's kind of hard to find him. I don't want to spook the man. I want to blow the man up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this rocket launcher and we're going to blast him to smithereens. Or we're just going to shoot him right here in the head with a sniper. Oh god, he's he's hidden. And he almost sees me. I'm going to have to kill him. I'm going to have to kill him. This ain't right. Close down the area. Hold on. You're not getting away. Okay, now that we got him, time to run. <clears throat> let's go and let's get out of here. Now it's going to be a long chase, but after a while, uh, we just need to evade the police long enough for us to go pursue Devin Weston. Which, by the way, it was a long chase off screen. It hey, took about like four or five minutes to get rid of the cops. It shouldn't yet? take that long. Yeah, this yeah, is why I hate perimeters. I would like the regular one meter, thank you very much. We could just go over to the pay spray and get rid of it. Hopefully they do that in Grand Theft Auto 6 if we get it. But at the same time, now we can finally pursue Devin Weston. He's going to be a long trip, so I cut that out too, because we've already visited Devin Weston's place at least twice. <clears throat> so on that note, I'm just going to drive over, <clears throat> excuse me, to his mansion, and we're going to kill him. <clears throat> Damn. I am pretty, pretty congested. Sorry about that. But Devin Weston has high hey, security news from the foundry and team, I don't want to be disturbed. He has his Merriweather troops in the vicinity. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to stealth most of them <coughs> and get rid of all of them so that I'll be able to get close enough to Devin and kidnap his sorry ass. Oh shit. And I missed him. So much for stealth. Okay, rampage. When else? When all else fails, rampage. It's been a while since I've done this. I'll try to bullet sponge most of these guys, but once I do kill all of them, then Devin will be fair game. Hey, you die. Kinda of bored of killing you, pricks. There's like three more left. Kill you. On two more left. And I think they're down there. This is the checkpoint, by the way. If you kill them, if you've already killed Steve Haynes, you're killing off the rest of the Merryweather goons, and you're going to uh. Then go after Steve. Ha I mean, then go after Devin Weston. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but now that we've killed off all the goons, now it's time to kidnap Devin Weston. I'm gonna take a dip in your pool after I wallowed in trash and got shot up, and then I'm gonna go in the box and get you. Wait, wait, hear me out! No more talking! All right, this is basically the end of the game. All you have to do is safely drive Devin Weston over to the location, and that will be it. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the Needless city. to Make say, ladies here. and gentlemen, the off the GOH. it has been a fun ride. Place. Grand Theft Auto Fife. While it has its downs, it also has its ups. The heists are fun. The guns are a lot more accurate in Grand Theft Auto 4. The driving, uh, okay, you get driving skills that makes it better. The flying skills still suck. I'm not going to say or lie to you, even though I personally suck at flying in this game. 
the flying still sucks as well. <clears throat> but this is the most gritty and mature Grand Theft Auto game to date. And I personally like it. And I oh no 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 don't destroy the car. Save that for later. But anyway, that's what I was saying. I personally like this game. Now let's not be unless I kid myself, there's a lot of characters I wish would have gone and never came back, but they had to come back for the wrap-up, basically. <clears throat> for the most part, at least some of the annoying characters from the the uh, GTA 4 games, they get their due. Johnny Clements, God, it was a, it was a blessing in disguise to see Johnny get stomped by Trevor. It was awesome to kill Rocco, because fuck that guy. And also United Liberty Paper, because fuck that guy, too. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful All those guys I killed... I feel... Like taking you out, Debo. From the that previous game, I it was fantastic. But also seeing Packy make his return, that was a fantastic moment. All I've ever wanted I gotta to watch say, though, drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly despite all of the uh, glitches and bugs and all sorts of DLC content, the game is actually a pretty good game. It's not the best Grand Theft Auto. Oh no, hell no! It's not even in the top. I mean, it's not the best Grand Theft Auto after all. I mean, that is San Andreas. I'm not gonna seriously lie to you, but Grand Theft Auto V is pretty good. I like it. I like it for what it is. I like it for what it's worth. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, it's an enjoyable game that I go to, and I've practically beaten this game at least five or six times, and it's always fun to go to, and if you've beaten the game that many times, you know that you have an enjoyment with it. Now, the online version, on the other hand, is something that's left to be desired. As of last week, if I'm not mistaken, they put in an actual casino in the game. As if the online has enough scrutiny to deal with. To be honest, <clears throat> I, for one, played the online and it's fun for a while, but then you realize there are jerks on online, and also the fact that it's hard to stay online if you're- oh my god. No! No! Of all the times, why now? Oh god damn it, you stupid bastards! Oh, I hate the lost so much. Oh, I hate them. Of course, of course they would wait till the finale to fuck me over. But as I was saying, oh, thank God they were killed by some random car. Or they just faded away. I don't know, one of the two. But anyway, as I was saying, the online has problems. I mean, you run into people who make their own missions, and when they do, they make it impossible to win. The, glut, the bugs, the glitches, the overpowered character no, the overpowered players coming after the lesser players, making your level progression hard, and all these wonky DLC that just slows the game down. All in all, I'd rather the story than the online. That's just my opinion. Oh, and fuck the loss. Just saying. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, 
But the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you. And then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Ah, that's it. That's the end of Grand Theft Auto V. With Devin Weston's death, Steve Haynes's death, all of the loose ends are tied. Michael, Trevor, and Franklin can enjoy their earnings and peace and more importantly you could go buy a property now and yeah you'll have to defend your property too but you could go buy a property and also go and invest with the assassination missions I showed from part 77 all the way to part 78 but whatever the case folks this game will have you sitting on a lot of money near the end of the game. And you can still make more. That's the beauty part. You will not stop making money. Too bad whatever you make here will not go to the online. And as far as the characters are concerned, Michael is awesome. Franklin is awesome. Trevor is basically the highlight of the entirety of the game. His antics are the highlight. So yeah. There's that. Oh, and by the way, if you left uh, Isaiah Freelander alive, here's a psychiatric evaluation for everything you have done. But if you didn't, you won't get that evaluation. So with that said, the next time we come to the universe of Grand Theft Auto, it will be the Lost and Damned. However, the next playthrough that I'm going to be playing is going to be... Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1. And I'll see you guys next week for the start of that.